Hello and welcome to a new top 3 pants video of Apollon. Today we're sitting here with Dante Del Vecchio, the writing expert of Pinider and with a long history in writing. Uh, Dante, can you tell us your top 3 pants or maybe a little bit more? First of all, welcome <laughs> thank and thank you for giving me the chance to uh, recall my over 30 years life in pens yeah and uh, you bring me back to my roots really mm -hmm. when i was a young guy first year 30 years old willing to have my own brand of pens mm -hmm. at that time my ideal pens were quite rough mm -hmm. but at the same time i have to say that uh, the pen industry was not as much developed like now yeah imagine that uh, in a simple way that uh, right, limited edition does not exist. Mm -hmm. And I am, I am the man who started them, yeah. the limited editions. And um, I, I, this nobody knows, but if yeah. you look in, in pen world, there was not any limited edition before mine. Okay. <laughs> so it's quite a big How achievement. How did you come up with that idea? Uh, first of all, because uh, we had a pen mm -hmm. and uh, one of my you know, friends in Florence, to me, Dante, if you don't number, you will never be able to sell it. Yeah. And he was, uh, you know, uh, dealing in, uh, in, um, in uh, paintings. Okay. So I said, you think so? Yes. <laughs> so we numbered the pen yeah. and we sold out 50 pieces. <laughs> Only for that little number on the little pen. Little number on the, yeah. the pen. And at that time, uh, you know, 800 euros were a, a, a very expensive pen. Yeah. <laughs> for uh, 1988 yeah. <laughs> yeah. so i started from them to make limited editions mm -hmm. that uh, the first uh, limited edition i made was 1989 yeah. <laughs> just a few months after i opened my company mm -hmm. and uh, the first pen i designed is this one yeah. it's called the red time yeah it was widely inspired from uh, an old pelican mm -hmm. and my application and my design of the clip Mm -hmm. was uh, very original and this for many years was one of the icons of Visconti. Yeah. It was celluloid, the celluloid was developed, was wrapped celluloid because mm -hmm. there are two different kinds of celluloid, mm -hmm. wrapped and drilled. Yeah. This is wrapped. Okay. So it's a sheet of celluloid wrapped around yeah. and um, uh, it was uh, you know an icon for at least uh, eight, ten years. Mm -hmm. After this, I have to say, this pen was uh, around uh, six, seven years after that, mm -hmm. and this is probably the first demonstrator pen of the new hair. Mm -hmm. Because demonstrator, you know, were samples given to the salesmen yeah. to show the pens in the 30s. Yeah. But uh, I made them to become, you know, a collectible items. Yeah. And still, you know, this is from 1996, 98, yeah. when I patented the double reservoir. Yeah. And this is uh, the Voyager demonstrator. It was a huge pen. Yeah. This one is so cool. Beautiful. At the same time, a couple of years before, we talked about the first non-pen, luxury pen. Mm -hmm. This is called the Taj Mahal. It was launched in 96. Uh, is the first pen without a clip. Oh, yeah. Louis uh, designed like to be a sceptre, mm -hmm. like uh, the king. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, uh, is a filigree, handmade filigree. Mm -hmm. This one is in ivory and diamonds. It's a lot of work. And uh, it's a huge, huge work. Yeah. We give uh, nearly one year of work of a lady in Genoa that was making our, our filigrees but for what I remember, one of my incredible, most successful pens. Yeah, beautiful. And this uh, is a pen that I'm very keen. The pen actually was designed from Carla, my wife, yeah. uh, for the artwork inside when I designed the Sheptum as a showpiece. Mm -hmm. And I remember it was a big fight in in, in, at that time to see if the pen should carry a clip or not a clip. I said, <laughs> a clip doesn't fit the design, I don't want it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is the Alhambra. I launched the pen in 1994 mm -hmm. for the Alhambra Museum in Spain. We had an event 
in Spain. And uh, the incredible thing of this pen was the raised filigree, cast it in the pen, embedded in the pen. Okay, so it was raised, raised. with uh, a special process, it's called uh, uh, gold forming mm -hmm. or silver forming. And this process was never done before from any other brand worldwide. Mm -hmm. And ourselves was so difficult, we had to drop it. But remember that we have over 50% rejection. Yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. We made in, in black resin yeah. and in, uh, uh, in uh, red ebonite okay. as well. And the red ebonite sent us crazy because it was easily stainable. We became crazy. But this is one of the huge masterpieces I made in my life. Mm -hmm. From this one we go. This is probably one of the first cut out pens. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I don't remember this if, if this was really, you know, an historical piece at the time. It was the first or not the first, I don't mind, but mm -hmm. I like to be the first. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but uh, for what I'm sure, this is the only one cut out titanium pens in the market. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's, a, it's like to play with the V of the brand. Yeah. And um, no doubt that this was an instant success. Mm -hmm. 888 pieces sold in one month. And this was before the Ripple? This was in 2002, if I remember well. Yeah. It was called the Visconti Skeleton. Wow. And after that, a few years after, I designed the Ripple. That was the propagation of thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A pen that I love is the Wall Street that I designed uh, looking, you know, the uh, Vitruvian Man of Leonardo da Vinci. Mm -hmm. The Vitruvian Man is a man inscribed in a circle and in a square. Mm -hmm. So by choosing the two shapes becomes, you know, this shape that is halfway between a round and a square. Yeah. It's a square with round corners. Yeah. And this is a, a man, a pen that amazed me, you know, and with the you know, this is Manhattan, seen at light, mm -hmm. with lights on or lights off. Beautiful. This is an incredible design. Mm -hmm. And after I read the book, The Da Vinci Code, mm -hmm. I designed the Divine Proportion. Yeah. This was originally launched in a beautiful box with a tool to measure the Divine Proportion. Mm -hmm. This is one of my collection in solid gold. And uh, you know the the divine proportion six one eight mm -hmm. the one is all in the pan is everywhere. I remember that time we made uh, a, a, a discovery, and uh, you can go in our website and, and and discover the hidden numbers of the pen. It, this is a, a pen with the riddle inside, oh, really? like was the the movie. Like in the movie, yeah. yes. One uh, one of the solution was the number of the letters of Visconti yeah. or uh, hidden inside of the of the cap was a number something you ah. can you can discover and go in the website and put uh, the answer oh wow we got nearly 300 answer but only two won oh wow this is how you can make a story yeah. without reading a book you know sure. and this is something i'm very good mm -hmm. how to read a book and make a good story yeah when i made this pen is called the mystery filler. Mm -hmm. I design a nice mechanism. Now the question is how you can fill it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if you are familiar with a mystery watch. A mystery watch is a watch with no numbers. All right. So how do you know what time is it? You, you can know. imagine mm -hmm. from the position of the hands mm -hmm. what time is it. Yeah. Now you have to imagine how to fit the pen. Yeah. Now you can discover that there is a a button you can raise and turn right or left yeah. to fit the pen. Then you can put it back and hide it. Mm -hmm. So this is called the mystery filler. Yeah. Now the reason here why to make this button to open and close. Mm -hmm. Every pen maker, important pen maker, they make a system to, to protect the, the piston from spinning. Mm -hmm. If you take a German brand, you have to unscrew a couple of turns before you can activate the piston. Mm -hmm. 
my way, that is always different from any other, yeah. is to have a piston that he can raise up, you can fit the pen, and now your system, when you put it back, is protected from accidental spilling. Mm -hmm. So not uh, possible to turn. And this is a way to make something easy, nice and complicated. Mm -hmm. Everybody can buy a watch to see what it is, but those most expensive are those also nice. Sure. This is something that I took me over one year to make. Mm -hmm. This is called the uh, forged carbon. So usually everybody knows what is a carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. And they really are used to, to see pens made with carbon fibers. Mm -hmm. But this is not a regular carbon fiber. This is different. This is uneven fibers mixed in the pen that is made for a special process that uh, creates this kind of, uh, how do you say, of uh, Damascus, mm -hmm. of uh, glossy and uh, opaque surface. Mm -hmm. And um, is absolutely resistant with any other carbon fiber pen, has a mister feeder as well, mm -hmm. but the material is completely unique. Yeah. This again is, uh, is uh, the number one this is the first time that any pen in the world was made in uh, forged carbon. As you see, I continue making great innovations, yeah. like every time there's something I new. like. I like to, I like to make, and again, you know, the honeycomb mm -hmm. was inspired from, uh, you know, uh, the uh, building of Bugatti cars, mm -hmm. because in uh, in uh, Firenze there is a company called Carbon Dream Pay Manufacturing. We got the cars, and when you see the honeycomb inside of some certain parts, I was inspired to design a pen okay. as honeycomb designs. Yeah. So when you ask me, where do you get the inspiration? Only two ways, either there is a tree at home, yeah. or things that surround me and gives me good inspiration of the mm -hmm. pen. And the artwork of the pen, of the pen is absolutely unique. Yeah. When I decided to make a pen to tell the history of Pinider, I designed the Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. That is not a trip in the future, <laughs> like the movie world. Like the, movie. the movie was always a trip to the past. Yeah. He went in the 50s to see his mother and his father before being married, mm -hmm. if you remember the movie. Yeah, yeah. This is the, a trip back to the Pinada history. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a nice book uh, together with the, with the pen mm -hmm. in the package that tells you the history of Italy in 1949, after Second World War. Yeah. Was the harsh to go back to normal life, mm -hmm. forget the war, the death, the destruction. Probably this is good for this moment when we need to go back to normal life at this yeah. COVID situation. We need to have this pen to yeah. go back to our life. Definitely. Let's go back to the future. Yeah. I designed the pen like an old tool, that mm -hmm. is the Calamus, mm -hmm. but made in a very modern way that we can call seamless. The cap and the body perfectly match. Mm -hmm. And the shape of the pen doesn't change if the cap is posted or not posted. The clip is another of my, my invention as a mechanism hidden inside of the clip that makes a perfect tool to so hook the pen to your jacket or to your mm -hmm. to your suit. You can open, put it back, and you have a piston fist feeling that you can feel by rotating right or left. Mm -hmm. Beautiful collectible pen, but also daily pen. This yeah. is also the trend I'm taking. Mm -hmm. yeah, always more and more, I make collectible pens that are also perfect as a daily pen mm -hmm. to use. This is the chance to introduce the Armand, a, a pen that made me proud because mm -hmm. it recalls to some of my old pens, very old pens, yeah. when I went back to the titanium and cutting out the pen to see, like Armand, was mm -hmm. doing with the Statue of Liberty, or most of the Harman opera were slicing things to see inside, mm -hmm. getting, you know, the soul 
at your and the sound of this pen is no doubt the feeling mechanism definitely and we have different way to go inside you have here we have the repetition mm -hmm. of the theme of the clip it is a cut out this bigger and bigger and bigger it's called the doppler mm -hmm. or different designs as you know i like to change frequently yeah. <laughs> sometimes too much but <laughs> no never too much this is titanium cut out mm -hmm. natural titanium finish no treatment just uh, a real titanium this is aluminum mm -hmm. protected with the multicolor finish pvd this is called night and day because you can have night night or day in a side mm -hmm. so another story yeah and always the magnet will be well visible and this is probably one of the things that makes me more amazed is bronze aged with vinegar mm -hmm. so completely natural real mm -hmm. bronze the pen will become older with time getting a little bit older and older and all the trims made in uh, in black yeah, finish so as you see there is a line that connects mm -hmm. all the pens mm -hmm. that uh, is, is my design my taste in writing instrument yeah and you know there are more coming yeah definitely always inspired from the things that surrounds me mm -hmm. the things that i love the things i think that are that have a cultural you know relevance mm -hmm. because don't forget at the end of the story a pen a fountain pen a writing instrument is culture Dante, thank you so much for your top three or top more. Uh, please uh, keep creating beautiful pens and uh, do what you do. And uh, just are not only free, are more than than, than a dozen. <laughs> it's okay. This You're allowed you, to do that. You, you you have to change your program. <laughs> not top free pen. <laughs> top dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I will think about it. I will think about it. Thank you so much. Thank you again, and uh, we'll hope to see you soon again with maybe another addition to your uh, top pants. Would be <laughs> goodbye, everybody.